One of the things I see most often surrounding AMC stock is that hedge funds are trying to bankrupt AMC. That is not the case, guys. Hedge funds cannot bankrupt a company even if they short sell the stock all the way to zero. Okay, that's not how it works. That's not how a company goes bankrupt. So in this video, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about what the hedge funds are doing and, and the fact that, yes, they are betting on AMC stock going bankrupt. But more importantly, we need to know this. This bottom line, hedge funds can't bankrupt a company, but we can bankrupt hedge funds. So that's what we're going to be talking about, guys. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we're growing our portfolios together. All right, look, we introed with it. A lot of people might have already lost interest because they're like, wow, a hedge fund can't bankrupt a company? What do you mean? No. Look, guys, once shares outstanding are out there, once the initial public offering is over with, the company is making money based on revenue, cost of uh, operating, all of that stuff, right? The the share price is detached from its income statement and a company can continue doing great things. But we know by now that the share price can be completely detached from fundamentals. And that's what we're looking at here with AMC. Now, the hedge fund, yes, is betting on bankruptcy. So what does that mean? When you short a stock, you're selling high in hopes to buy back later at a lower price. Now, of course, if the company goes bankrupt, what are they going to have to buy that share back at? The share is going to be delisted, right? We don't have to worry about buying that stock back. So when a hedge fund is betting on bankruptcy, they can't, here, here's worst case scenario. They can't drive the company into bankruptcy. The company's already doing that itself, right? And I know that the pandemic had a lot to do with AMC stock falling short and facing bankruptcy, right? Movie theaters weren't allowed to be open. They're still not open at full capacity. The pandemic and external factors had a ton to do with AMC facing bankruptcy, right? And hedge funds, yes, they were betting on this. And as they shorted the stock, as hedge funds went out and short sold AMC stock, what were they essentially doing? Were they causing bankruptcy? No, I don't want people to to get that idea in their head that they were causing bankruptcy, but a very good idea and a very good way that you can think about it is that AMC was out there. They were treading water, right? They're facing bankruptcy. They're treading water, barely sit, barely keeping their head above the water. And the hedge funds, man, they were, you know, they're sitting there. They've got plenty of life preservers, but they don't throw them. In fact, they're pulling all of the life preservers out of the water. They're pulling all the noodles and all the floaties out of the water so that AMC doesn't stand a chance. Now, what does this look like in reality? When the stock price is high or it's attached to fundamentals, AMC could essentially go out and issue more shares of stock just like they did to acquire more capital and, and use it for their expenses. They can pay down rent. They can use it for operating expenses. Whatever they want to use that for. But if hedge funds go out and short that stock and drive that price into the ground, AMC doesn't have a lifeline. They'd have to go out and raise debt instead of equity. And at that point, who's going to lend to a dying company? Nobody's going to lend money to a company that's heavily in debt, facing bankruptcy, and doesn't have a chance to survive. And I'm not, that's not bad about AMC, right? We know that the pandemic was causing all of these problems, but hedge funds essentially pulling all lifelines out from under them, pulling the rug out from under them is really what is going on when they're out there shorting the stock. You know, if AMC was doing great, if AMC was out there bringing in billions and billions of dollars every year, their bottom line was positive. And AM or in then hedge funds went out and short sold that stock. AMC doesn't care at that point, right? They would essentially go out and do a stock buyback to buy back their shares at a very low price and then reissue those shares at a later time. So just because that share price is being driven lower doesn't cause bankruptcy. The one thing that it does cause is kind of it pulls the rug out from under the company and doesn't allow them to do capital raises and doesn't allow them to to really 
go out and do that secondary offering at a fair price. So I want that to be on everybody's minds. I don't want everybody to think that, you know, I just want you to know what's going on, all right? And I know a lot of people think that the hedge funds are bad. They absolutely are because they definitely messed with the wrong stock. You know, they dug themselves in a very big hole and they're going to pay for it. So that leads us into, you know, hedge funds can't bankrupt the company, but we can bankrupt the hedge funds. And here is why it is so much different. Hopefully you've stuck around five minutes in. Hopefully you've stuck around for this part of the video because this is where it gets very, very interesting. All right. Now, whether or not you believe in all of the phantom shares that could be floating around out there, let's just talk about the numbers that are being reported. We know for a fact that there are over a hundred million short shares out there that need to be purchased back. And when I say need to be purchased back, it is an obligation that the hedge funds set. They are obligated to buy these stocks back. All right. So we know that we can control the price. How do we control the price? Well, if we own the float, which we know that we own the majority of the float right now, we own the majority of AMC, we control the price that the hedge funds have to pay to buy this stock back. So what does this look like? You know, if we've got, if AMC goes out and issues more of those 43 million shares, okay, that's on them. But we are still holding the stock. We will reach a point if everybody's willing, you know, everybody says they're willing to hold but we still see daily volume. We still see people day trading and swing trading AMC. So, you know, I'm still a little bit skeptical that everybody is out there behind this movement and holding the stock. But look, if we hold this stock and, and hedge funds have exhausted every other means of buying that stock, if we get to a point where it's apes versus hedge funds, you know, bros versus hedge, whatever you call yourself, if you're holding AMC, there will come a day when the hedge funds have to cover that stock, and because we control the price, we can absolutely bankrupt the hedge funds. It is completely different because they are obligated to pay that price. They are obligated to buy that share back. Whether we charge them $10, whether we charge them $100, or whether we charge them $100,000 for the share, they have to pay the price that we set for this stock. Now, I know that a lot of people have different price targets and a lot of people are going to get tempted on the way up. But look, that is theoretically, that is how it works, right? Yes, there's going to be people that fold before other people and all of that. But we control the price of the stock. And if the hedge funds only have X amount of dollars in their bank account, we can take every dollar from them if you're willing to hold out. So hopefully guys, hopefully this shed a little bit of light on what's happening here, that hedge funds can't bankrupt the company, but we can absolutely bankrupt the hedge funds. Share this video with somebody who may have had that, uh, you know, misconception of what's going on here and really shed some light on what's happening with the AMC stock short squeeze and how epic this could really be. Now, guys, if you're brand new to the channel and you haven't, you know, sub clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. We're growing our portfolios together. And if you're brand new to investing, use the link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up an account. Buy, you know, sell the free stocks that you get for depositing $100 and go out and buy some shares at AMC. And, and then you don't have anything invested in the squeeze. You've got shares with no out-of-pocket cost. And trust me, it's going to be a good thing when AMC stock squeezes. I'm excited. Let us know down in the comments below if you are excited as well. And until the next time, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.